again. It's a red stick. All right, guys, this E-Machine E-A-T-01, ah, that's a hit and miss. Um, the diff lockers are not, that's even to say if they're even in there. I mean, they're weak. They're in there. The diff lockers, it's, the diffs are locked, but not locked. That's not the strongest uh, diff locker uh, that's in there. I mean, it's it's weak. Uh, it's very weak. Um and also, it could be the power, too, of the truck, the motor. Because uh, a lot of times, they got hung up on little slight little humps and heels. And and another thing, too, is by the way it's made and the height of it, it just got hung up uh, on the front of the truck. As you can see, the mud there, uh, it, it would just get hung up right there up under there. So you really, if you're coming up to an incline or going down in a hole or ditch or anything, it's not even going to help you uh, going in an angle, to be honest with you, because of the way the wheelbase is. The front wheels are just pushed back and the uh, front of the cab comes back so forward. So it, it's really come down to a height issue. And this truck is really not uh, high enough. It doesn't have that height. Uh but at the same time, I mean, it's it's not bad for the little money that you spend on this truck. Um, it just really, man, they could have put a stronger motor in here or really made the lockers, man, made the div lockers stronger than what they are. But other than that, I mean, that was, uh, was probably one of the thumbs down on this was the uh, motor. Another thing is the diff, uh, because even when I was able to, if I had enough power, if I had a uh, stronger diff lockers, I could have got unstuck, but in a lot of the situations, but you know, because of the way this truck is made, I couldn't get out 
and uh, I had to give it a little push or a little assistance. But um, all in all, I mean, it's, I mean, you get what you pay for, and this is what, you know, I got. And like I said, for the purpose I'm going to use it for, it's going to be fine. Uh, so I'm not going to do anything to it. Uh, these wheels, they're not the best, but they would do. Um, and true enough, all the weight is in the front of the truck too. So when you go down, climbing down an incline, anything like that, uh, all the weight is in the front. So uh, if you want to counter that, you can put some in the back. But again, like I said, this is the Eshin EAT01. Uh, I'm gonna call it tour grade, although it's some stuff you can do to uh, work on it. I mean, it's it got some hobby grade features on this truck. It has some hobby grade features on this truck, but it's more tour grade uh, than hobby grade to me. Uh, but with that being said, y'all, this is the end of this video. I'm gonna let you finish. This is the end of the video. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Y'all be safe. Peace.